Hello and welcome to the bathroom, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today I'm gonna review and test a soap called Rustic. It's an American soap, black pepper. Uh, I got this from Mike, and I will. I can say that this is a scent that I really loved. It was actually one of the best scents I, I sensed uh, so far. It's a very warm, spicy, aromatic scent. I can send some amber behind there and some floral notes. I don't know really. Maybe some kind of violet. That's what I can sense. It's a very, very nice scent. I need a very nice ingredients list on this soap. You can pause and you can read on the lid there. And it contains chia butter, what I really love and it's very good for the skin. Um, no harsh chemicals or preservatives or parabens or silicones in this soap. It's a natural soap that I love very much. Um, to this I'm gonna try Go with the Derby Blade again, Derby Premium on the second use. And I'm gonna try a new racer today. Merker Futur, I think it's pronounced in German, Futur. Um, I didn't know anything about this racer uh, when I got it from Mike. Um, but I've uh, been talking to some friends and uh, seen on uh, YouTube. I was planning to go on setting 6 on this one, but uh, after I checked on YouTube that it's supposed to be an extremely aggressive racer, maybe I thought I should not go on setting 6, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway, at least I'm gonna start to try on setting 6 and see what's happened. Um, let's see if it is setting 6, I already loaded the blade. And it's not a problem at all. I've seen some videos that people say don't cut your hands, but it's very easy to just put this up and there the blade go. Sorry for that. And you just place the blade like this. And you put this. Let me see here so I don't drop it again. You just put this over here, so like that. Um, the blade gap is enormous on this razor. And if you turn it down, you can see what's happened. You... I'm sorry, like this, I don't know how this will change a little bit, but not so much. It's still a very big blade gap. But we go up to setting 6 again. Like this. So this will be interesting. Uh, I also continue with this brush. 24mm satin tip. It was a very nice brush. Uh, I go with the Humphreys Cucumber Lemon. Which I said. I'm going to finish off with Lagerfeldt Classic Aftershave. We have a very lovely spring weather here. The winter is gone, gone for another six months. It feels great. We have nice temperatures and sunny weather. And next week it's supposed to be <coughs> 17, 18 <coughs> sorry, <coughs> degrees here. It will be very, very nice. Um, I want to mention something first. I got this uh, ghost mail the other day from an uh, unknown sender. This Prurasso Chavat. Someone wants to see me cut my throat, probably. And uh, I have never, never shaved with a Chavat. Uh, and I'm just now checking some YouTube videos how to hold this monstrum. And it will be very interesting to try this one. I'm gonna probably try this this weekend and I'm gonna film it my first use on video here for everyone to 
to have a laugh and have a great time to this epic moment when I cut myself. Uh, because I'm quite sure I will cut myself. Because I don't know how to hold this one on the, when you do the neck. It actually feels sharp without the blade in. So uh, this will be very, very, very exciting. I also want to mention some other guys. I want to congratulate, uh, congrat, um, the Steven on the Suffolk Shaver for his thousand subscribers. Thank, uh, we love your videos, so please go on and do the same content you have. It's great. And uh, I also start to follow another nice guy, a small channel. Uh, he's called Sladhad. He shaves with different razors and soaps and everything. <clears throat> so check him out too. Um, about these subscriptions, I am. Um, I think it's important, very important, that all of you subscribe to as many shaving channels you can. Uh, you don't have to look at them. Just subscribe to them because it's very important. Uh, the more of us that reach thousand followers get money from the ads in Google. And it means that they can continue buying new products and uh, review in front of the camera. And that's a big benefit for all of us in this. So subscribe. If you don't have time to look at them, so what? The views come anyway. I only have 83 subscribers and I got uh, over 100 views on my videos anyway. So the, the views come, so that's no problem. The subscription is very, very important. It's a big benefit for all of us in the end. So think about that, guys. Um, this razor was from, um, this Javat was from Matti Lindholm, by the way, check him out, he's a very, very skillful uh, straight razor, so he has a great channel too, he's Swedish as well. Uh, okay, let's start this up, I have uh, four days of growth here, and so uh, let's see what this Futur can do on this old beard, old coarse beard. First we're gonna of course load this soap. The soap played the leading part in this video really. So we're gonna I wet the brush here and I just flick it out the excess water. We open this I'm gonna try to load this. This smell is fantastic. Warm aromatic scents is what I love. Both in aftershaves and soaps and EDTs. That oriental uh, touch of scents. It's definitely a lot of amber in this one. Much more prominent um, floral notes now. It must be violin. Violin. Viol violet in English. Viol in Swedish. Yeah. Okay, I got a nice peaky ladder immediately here, so. Let's go to the face and paint this on. It was no problem at all. I don't know what this soap costs really. I have not checked it up at all actually because I've been in hectic days here. But if this soap performs as it smells then it's uh, can very well be a new favorite soap for me. I don't 
feel so much citrus in this one. I'm not sure if it is any citrus, but probably it is. Ivory soap seems to have citrus. But it's more this amber and floral notes that come through. I think we have paste enough here for start to wet the brush here. Let this water flow because I can see this is so I can take it. So what do you think about the Futur Razor? I know many of you have that one on or you have the Chinese copy of it. It's not a beautiful razor. I seen videos with it before and I actually only look with one eye because I'm not so fond of that design at all. So if I'm gonna be truth, truth, truthful and I try to be I have two not wet enough here because I need very very good slickness for this razor. I got the great ladder going up here. But I can take off. Okay, we can start now, I think. Just gonna let, sorry, make a mess here. Okay, I'm starting six. Wow. This one is a killer. Wow. I feel I must be extremely gentle on the hand. Look, great. I think this must be the heaviest racer I own now. You just have to place it on the skin and let it fall down by itself. And it cut right through the four days of growth like nothing. It's a massive um, blade feel on this razor and something six. Um, my fatip does is also very aggressive. It's not like this one. This one is much more aggressive, I can feel. At least you feel the, um, the blade more.
very, very careful here. So slick the soap I cannot put my skin away. It's not so pleasant feeling actually with this uh, big <coughs> blade. It's like the blade, uh, you hold the blade in your hand. Let's see how it goes with the sensitive mustache area. There's no overhang on this razor, so you don't have to at least be afraid that you cut yourself. No. When you maneuver this one under the nose. It was very, um, very rough feeling on the face, I must say, not so pleasant and it's not because of the blade, because the blade is on the second use and it's a Dolby Premium, which is a very, very smooth blade for me. The blade feel is massive, massive on this one. Now we're gonna do a... Um, Second pass with more water and more slickness. It's not much left to take away, I can say. Cleaned up. Very, very efficient. And the first pass here. And I'm gonna change the settings for a second pass, of course, because I don't want to shave with setting six and second pass. I think actually I can come, go down to one. It will be enough because I have almost no beard left to shave off. I took it all in the first pass. I just have to put on my glasses here. See if the razor is dry on my hands, so I don't cut myself here. Let's see, where is this marker? Wow, wrong way. Here, we go on setting one on the second pass. Much more uh, comfortable feeling now.
feels very smooth on setting one. But setting six was monstrous. I never felt so much blade in the face before. Wow. It's a lot of things doing this razor so <coughs> efficient. It's the weight of it, it's very very heavy and uh, it goes by, down by itself and uh, it's the angle of the blade in the head that exposed to your skin. However, it's a very big head. It's more difficult to get under the nose for this. Irritating Pacaroon is here. There's little hairs directly under your nose. But it did it quite good anyway. There are no sharp um, edges on this razor anywhere, so it feels very smooth on your skin. It was perfect actually, it, you could come in under your nose with this one, in a very effective way. way. Hmm? Let me feel this over now. I have uh, only a little on my jawline as usual and on my neck, but it's not much left. This was very very effective razor. Maybe I'll take a little bit here only. It's an uh, enormous residual slickness of this soap. The feedback is very high sound on this one. The handle is very slippy if you get soap on it. Slippy, slippery.
Great first shave with this Mercury Futur. I'm very happy. I'm gonna rinse and I'll be back shortly. Back from rinsing. I must say that um, this uh, razor was actually a success. I didn't even get the weeper. It was very very smooth on uh, the low setting. On the six setting it was very very rough but I don't know why I managed to do it very very well and I had a fantastic shave and the soap performed top notch all the way it was a lovely scent easy to lather very very easy to lather thick and creamy with a great slickness you could not ask more from a soap a very very good American soap right up the top on my list uh, among a few others there and by now but uh, great soap fantastic soap uh, I'm gonna finish off with a little of the witch hazel cucumber melon here and I'm gonna let this dry in before I take the The Lagerfeld on me. So I do that off camera. Thank you so much for uh, watching and uh, tell me what you think about uh, rustic shaving soaps, uh, Merker Futur, and um, yeah, anything you like. So please write a comment. Take care, guys. See you. Bye bye.